You've already figured out by now that a group of cells is called a range. The address of a cell or range is required when we want to reference that cell or range in a formula or chart. So how do we reference a particular range in Excel? Select a range by holding down your mouse button and swiping or dragging. This selects a group of cells that are next to each other, which can be used to make a chart, which we'll explore in the Visualize Data lesson, or to add formatting, such as cell highlighting or font color. Many choices for formatting or for inclusion in a formula. One way to see this is to look at how a range is referenced in a simple formula using sum. In this example, we'll create a formula that's just equal sign, then type sum, and then select a range. The range address shows up in the formula. A range is defined by the upper left and lower right corners of the area selected. In this example, we can see that the range is from B2 in the upper left to C7 in the lower right. The range corners are separated by a colon to indicate and everything in between. In addition to selecting ranges by column and row labels, it is also possible to name ranges to make them easier to read and identify. You'll learn about that in a later lesson. Next, I want to show you something else that's special about addressing with spreadsheets. That's the idea of relative versus absolute addressing.